everybody, welcome back to Daily Easy English Expression, the video. Thank you very much for watching the video. Today's expression is so good, I can't believe I haven't taught it. Dying to, I'm dying to teach you this expression. To be dying to do something means you really, 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 really want to do something. You want to do something so bad, it's killing you. You are almost dead, which doesn't make much sense. It means you're super excited, but we say, I'm dying, I'm dying to do something. That's the idea. So right now it's uh, for me, December 7th or December 8th, I don't even know. It's uh, 8.28 p.m. on Tuesday, so that's uh, December 8th. For me, it's December 8th. And Christmas, big holiday in America, is in 15, no, it's, I don't know, December 25th. So what's that, 17 days. My math is terrible. So 17 days later, and then we have New Year's, which is January 1st. So in America, these are the big days. Uh, other nationalities have other big holidays, but in America, those are the big holidays. So, I'm dying to do something for some of you, especially my patrons. And I'll tell you what that is after you check out the dialogue. Oh, I'm dying to dye your hair. Uh, no thanks. But you're graying. Dying is a good thing. <laughs> I'd rather die than die. Nice try. Goodbye. Nice try. Goodbye. Dying is a good thing? Yeah, lots of people dye their hair. Now, don't get confused. D-I-E and D-Y-E. Changing the color of your hair or whatever. Changing the color of your shirt. Changing the color of something. Adding color to something. The pronunciation is completely the same. But the spelling and, of course, the meaning is different. So D-I-E means the, and the uh, present progressive tense, D-I-E, is D-Y-I-N-G, die, dying, okay? D-Y-E, to add color or change the color of something, in the case of hair, to make my hair black. I don't know what color they want. Uh, is actually D-Y-E-I-N-G. Yeah, the spelling's kind of crazy. I know, I know. But we keep the E. So anyway, the pronunciation is absolutely the same, but of course, the meaning is very different. So what about you? Uh, it's the end of 2015. We've got a couple weeks left. Are you dying to do something before the end of the year? I hope so. So once again, and this is especially a message to my sponsors, and there are lots of you out there. Um, it's hard for me to say thank you to everybody, but um, I know who you are. Uh, the people on Patreon, the people who sponsor me, support me directly, my DDM students, and my PERF students. Um, especially to those people, I prepared a bunch of uh, Christmas cards. And I'm not an idiot. I know some of you aren't Christians. So some of these say Merry Christmas. Some of them say Happy Holidays. Uh, other ones are just a, a picture. Okay? So I'm not a, I'm not a fool. Um, I know who to send what to. But hey, I'd like to send... So I've got like, I don't know, about 80 cards. And uh, I would like to send 80 people a Christmas card or a holiday season card, whatever. For me, it's Christmas card, so it's, I'd like to send out a Christmas card. And uh, it's nothing special, it's just a card, and I'll sign my name, uh, and that's it. But uh, it's, it's to you. So what I need you to do, if you want a card, I need you to give me your address, and you need to write the address exactly how it goes on an envelope in English please okay so last year I sent a lot of cards to but the way people wrote the address was confusing and a lot of the cards came back to me so it's expensive it's not cheap sending out the cards but don't worry about that um, so anyway I would like to send you guys 80 people a Christmas card and uh, 
So send me, you need to send me your address. Now, the Christmas card probably will not arrive before Christmas. I know, it's late. I'm sorry, I apologize. I'm a guy. I'm, this is what guys do, right? I'm sorry. Uh, but it will hopefully get there eventually. Believe it or not, one of my Christmas cards took six months to arrive. I'm not joking, six months in June. I think it was a guy in Brazil uh, showed a picture on Facebook. Oh, I got trans Christmas. Six months! So yeah, it might take a long time, uh, but I'll, I'll try, okay? So I'll pick 80 people. So not everybody's going to get a card. I apologize. Don't feel bad. Uh, my heart still goes out to everybody. But maybe you'll be one of those 80. And I'll tell you, people who are my students, DDM, perf, people who are my sponsors on Patreon and direct sponsors, those people will get the priority. Um, if you are a student or a, a sponsor, let me know. Shane, I'm your patron. Shane, I help you out with the coffee fund, whatever. Let me know. Uh, so I Absolutely, I want to send you a card if you want to receive one. I'm dying to send them to everybody. I wish I could send it to everybody. Maybe in the future I will be able to. But isn't it cool to open the mail and actually get a card? Yeah. So I want to give that feeling to you. I'm dying to give that feeling to you. And should I dye my hair? Leave a message down below. Send your addresses to this email address, uh, dailydictationmembers at gmail.com. It's the easiest address. We always use it. And, uh, and in your subject line, put Christmas card. Just put Christmas card in the subject line. And uh, after probably uh, Thursday or Friday, probably on Friday, I'll pick the people I'm going to send uh, the card to and then on Saturday or on Monday, I'll send out the cards. So once again, for most of you, the card won't arrive by Christmas. But hey, the one's on the way. If you're getting one, don't forget, put the address, send me an email with your address exactly, like name, street, city, country, exactly how it needs to be in your country. Let me just explain. In America, it's uh, Shane Peterson, that's my name, then it's the street address, that's the street, and then it's the city, that's the city, and then the state, the state goes here, and then the country, the zip code, five, five, blah, 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 blah. But different countries are different, so you need to write it. Just look at your envelope and just translate it to English and put it exact in the email, okay? That's it. Thank you very much. See you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. I'm dying to dye your hair. Uh, no thanks. But you're graying. Dying is a good thing. Huh, I'd rather die than die. Nice try. Goodbye. Oh, I'm dying to dye your hair. Uh, no thanks. But you're graying. Dying is a good thing. Huh, I'd rather die than die. Nice try. Goodbye. Oh, I'm dying to dye your hair. Uh, no thanks. But you're graying. Dying is a good thing. Huh, I'd rather die than die. Nice try. Goodbye. Thank you.